I'm starting out with two pieces of Bashful Blue paper. This one is the Bashful Blue cardstock. This one is the patterned paper from the pattern pack that you can get of the DSP. And it's the polka dots. I cut them both out with the flower folds die on the big shot. And then I've cut out a piece of just scrap paper with the one and three quarter inch punch. I'm going to go ahead and set these this on each one of them and just cut, draw, actually I'm going to do it on the back side, just draw the circle around, whoops, and do this on each one. The big one, it doesn't matter because you're going to lay the small one on the top of it anyways, so you won't be able to see that. And just draw that. I'm going to poke a hole in the center and go just cut the X. so that you can cut out each piece following that circle. Now before you get this all completely cut, before you cut this out, or even after you cut out the circle of the plain cardstock flower, you can always run it through one of your textured embossing folders. And by the magic of TV, it is all done. And I just used the polka dot one embossing folder for this one. Now you want to go ahead and get some of your treat cups. You need two of them and some jelly beans or favorite candy, whatever you want. And you want to put, just heap it on up, but make sure that your two will close okay. So after you know that they'll close, take the white strip off of that one, pour your candy in the other one, and take the white strip off of this one, there we are, and just then stick it on top and put them together. Okay, and then to get these to stick in here, obviously it's going to take a little bit more than sticky strip, or I mean than snail, so you want to get your sticky strip, if I can find the end here, and just put this all the way around the circle. But just remember, this is the back flower, so you have nothing to worry about with this one. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and take the red part off. There we go. Stick this in the center of the flower. And, then s and push so that it'll stick. Okay, that's what it'll look like on the back side. Now you can always, because I put the textured on this side, you can always make a back one so that it'll look like this. Okay. Now, because this one is so much thinner and there's not much of a space to put the sticky strip on without it sticking through, we're just going to put snail on this one. So just on each of the petals, go around with the snail. And you can put it the same, you can, or you can stagger it. Whatever you want to do, I'm going to go ahead and stagger mine and put this around. Now you can still see a little bit of the treat cup, a little bit, 
but that's okay because these are going to be for my kids' baskets or to hang up, you know, how everyone does the Easter egg um, trees, whatever you want. But there's that. And then I'm going to go ahead. I, there's one piece that I have that isn't doesn't have the pattern on. I'm going to use that piece to use my crocodile and put the hole in it. Use some white taffeta ribbon. Pull this through and tie a bow. But you can use this for a tag for an Easter basket if you want to. Or you can hang it from an Easter egg tree is a little bit something extra for the Easter eggs as well. Or you can just put it on your child's door Easter morning. You could use, use this even for a little scavenger hunt. They have to keep finding the little eggs or the little flowers in order to find their new, next clue. And you can write their clues on the back of the flowers. So, go trim this up. There's that one. And that one. And there we are. A cute little tag or whatever you want to use it for. And it just makes it a fun little treat for your kids or whoever you give it to. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day crafting.